Today is also the first of some of the hottest weather we've seen so far this summer. It's a good time to go over some important safety pointers that can help you stay cool. 3 News Now reporter Ron Johnson joins us with more from those that have to work out in this heat. Good morning, Ron. Good morning, Zach and Suresh. You know, people in the lawn care business are used to working outdoors no matter the temperature, but that doesn't mean they have to let their guard down too much, and neither should you. This time of year, there's always a lawn somewhere that needs to be mowed. And that keeps Adrian Rodriguez and his lawn care business busy. Averages from 10 to 12. Uh, the most we'll do is about 16 to 17, a uh, total of 50 accounts a week. On the mower and on the blower, he's outside the whole time, even when temperatures soar. When they do, it's time to be cautious. Dr. Eric Ernest with Nebraska Medicine says it takes about 15 minutes to start feeling the effects from the heat. Thirst and sweat are the first signs it's time to cool down. Those that we that really run into trouble that usually rise to the level of needing to be seen in an emergency department are those that have been outside for extended periods of time. They haven't taken appropriate rests outside of direct sunlight. They haven't been uh, well hydrated, which is probably one of the more common things that we see. So what do Adrian and his team do to stay cool? Make sure we're drinking water. Clothing is the biggest part too. Is this shirt's dry fit. It's breezy in that sense and loose. So sunscreen as well helps a lot to kind of eliminate at least the burning aspect. And should it get too hot? Uh, at that point though, we kind of gauge the day. So if we know we can push stuff, move it, um, we will. Doing his job while staying mindful of how the heat's impacting his body is what keeps him going. You know you need water, take that break. That, that work can wait for a little bit and just continue on. Some other tips for you. Dr. Ernest says in addition to water, he recommends drinks like Gatorade and Powerade. They have electrolytes in them. He also recommends checking up on the elderly and anyone who might not have air conditioning this week. In the studio, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now.